It's my great pleasure and great honor to be here. I think remember last time was five years ago, a symposium for the 25th anniversary events. I hope it's now 30 years events now, just passed. So it's my great pleasure um, to visit again. I'm going to present to you uh, a, an overview of what I think uh, neuroplasticity is about. Um, not so much on my own work, but on the field. I um, would like to uh, begin by saying that this uh, most complicated structure in, in the universe uh, looks uh, very complicated, but the most com uh, important part is this uh, cortex that is surrounding this structure underneath. Now this is the entire structure of the brain, the human brain is one and a half kilograms. Uh, um, uh, perhaps uh, half of its weight is in the cortex, in the humans. It, it, uh, it's, it's what makes us human. Uh, so the, uh, the structures underneath the within, envelope within the cortex is the subcortical structures are more ancient, uh, evolutionarily speaking, more ancient structure. Many other animals have, uh, mammals are well developed. Uh, the important thing I think for neuroscience, for brain uh, science, is to understand how the cortex control the subcortical structure. You know, I said the, the subcortical structure is the earlier instinct uh, based uh, that many animals have, that the cortex provides the control for uh, the higher cognitive function. And that's the, uh, the, uh, the outside uh, complicated uh, sheets of structure. Now this is highly faded in humans because there are too many cells produced. There's an explosive growth of cells that in order to accommodate more cells, the, it has to fold in order to, uh, to make this, uh, uh, all these cells uh, can, uh, can, uh, uh, can survive here in, the, in this structure. 